Hello everyone, welcome back to Surrey Studios, and I apologize that my table here is a mess. I'm currently in the process of a couple different projects, actually. This is a separate project, this is technically homework, and this is a project that I'm working on. So I, I just have a lot of projects going, and not a lot, not enough time, man. I just, I can't. But I am excited for a video that should be coming out this weekend, which is going to be a vlog video. I'm going to be taking a trip to uh, the Chicago area this Saturday, and I'm bringing a special guest along, and so I'm excited to post that video eventually this weekend, so get hyped for that. Anyway, this video is about the new LEGO N1 Starfighter, the Mandalorian uh, N1 Starfighter. And can I just say, first off, before we get into this LEGO take, I was right I, I'm very proud of myself for this past 2022 summer LEGO Star Wars Wave predictions video that I posted a while ago, because I was right about so much stuff. Let me get, let, like, the ATT Walker, not only did I guess the price, I guess the set number as well. ATT Walker, I guessed correctly. I guess the Cad Bane's Justifier ship correctly. I did not get the price right. I never thought they'd make 160 bucks, but I got that right, and I got um, I got this N1 Starfighter correct, the Mandalorian version, and then everyone got the advent calendar right, and I don't know who didn't get the advent calendar right, but anyway, I got those three sets right, and that's like, I don't know, that's amazing to me, because it's so hard to get any prediction video right, let alone three of them, so I got three of them right so far. I'll probably do a video summarizing all of them, but this video is just specifically on the Mandalorian N1 Starfighter. Why, I, why do I want to talk about this? I'm obviously not going to be able to say anything different than other videos that you have seen already, because Amidara has already posted a full video on everything that's known about the set. You can look it up online, you can probably check out any other big LEGO YouTuber, so what can I bring to the table? What I can bring to the table is, what does this mean for the future of LEGO Star Wars? I think this is a very interesting thing, and I think this is, this this brings hope to me, because a couple of days, not days, I guess last week, was it last week? It might have been just last week. Last week I posted a video on uh, the, like, top 10 LEGO Clone Wars sets that we deserved but never got. You should check that out if you want. We just did not get a lot of LEGO Clone Wars sets. It's sad. And... We probably will never, uh, unless Lego, um, sorry, unless Disney makes a Clone Wars movie or a Clone Wars TV show again, which I really don't see happening. But this is what the Mandalorian N1 Starfighter is telling us. Because what do we know Disney loves to do? Disney loves fan service. And fan service is, I don't know, I like fan service. I like being served as a fan. That's great. And it makes me happy. So... I like the fact that we have fan service. Uh, we saw that a lot in like the Rise of Skywalker. We saw an original X-Wing and a TIE Fighter. That's fan service. In the, in, in uh, I'm sure in Marvel, there's a crap ton of fan service that I can't think of right now, but there there is. Uh, and then, yeah, just movies love to do that. Anyway, uh, the Tobey Maguire and uh, Andrew Garfield like spider-man's that was practically fan service like let's bring those two back that was a, okay and that's a great idea that's a great example of fan good fan service because he created a quality movie a quality storyline and it's just oh so good i love this is not a spider-man movie review video but it's such a good movie on top of that we know that Disney loves fan service, and so we're probably going to get more stuff, such as the N1 Starfighter reference, because that is an old ship that we never, I never thought in a million years that I would see in any more Star Wars movies or anything, because it's just such a, it's it's so specific to that one time period. But now we have one, post Empire. That's crazy to me, and. We are getting in a Mandalorian N1 Starfighter, albeit it is gray, which I do love the new, I love the design. I love the Mandalorian's design. It looks so sick. And so we're never going to really see a yellow one, probably again. But this is where my hope lies in this, is that we will continue to make TV shows. And when I say we, I mean Disney. Well, <laughs> Disney will continue to make TV and um, TV shows and movies for Star Wars. As long as fan service exists, we are going to keep uh, keep getting 
references from past Star Wars stuff. What that could potentially mean is for LEGO, we could potentially get Clone Wars sets, but not Clone Wars sets if you know what I'm talking about. The N1 Starfighter, that's from the uh, uh, old, technically Old Republic era, if you want to be specific. It's technically the Old Republic era, or pre-Clone Wars. I don't know if all of that was technically the Old Republic, but pre-Clone Clone Wars era. That's where the N1 Starfighter is from. And now we bring that ship into a just a spot in the timeline of Star Wars after the Empire, and boom, we have a Lego set because it showed up in an episode and a couple episodes, and hopefully we'll continue to show up in more episodes. Overall, what I'm saying is, is that I think this set is a beacon of hope for us Clone Wars fans, because potentially there could be other, there could be other just <laughs> sets, I guess, that could be Clone Wars vehicles or ships referenced in the future, and then a set could be made out of it. Um, I think the most potential, honestly, right now is Bad Batch Season 2, whenever that comes out. I think Bad Batch Season 2 has huge potential for Clone Wars, uh, Clone Wars-esque sets. I, I use the word esque specifically because it's, it's technically Clone Wars-esque. It's very close to the end of the Clone Wars era where we could see stuff like bleeding over. And I think the Obi, the Kenobi show, flashbacks, I don't know, like anything could happen. So I'm hopeful now that we could get some Clone Wars-esque sets and maybe get some characters we never got before uh, or some vehicles that needed to be redone or in just new ways. I, I think like one of my favorite ATT walkers, to be honest, is Captain Rex's ATT walker. That one in lego form that's just such a fun build and that's such a fun set and that's i, I like that uh dave filoni decided to do that with rebels uh to make them live in an old att walker that just like hit home when they came out with that set for lego so yeah that's all i have to say that's my take on the n1 starfighter uh, overall love the minifigs i love how the set looks i'm definitely gonna be getting it 60 bucks retail us dollars 60 dollars you can pre-order it now on Amazon, etc. Uh, but yeah, I am definitely going to be making a trip to the Lego store early in the morning, waiting in line early in the morning to get uh, that um, Starfighter, that set, that set. Yeah, I, I just, I've never had an N1 Starfighter. I'm very happy that the first one I'm going to own is going to be a Mandalorian version. So that's just cool to me. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe for more LEGO takes such as these, and also check out some other videos. I just finished a LEGO mock off of the episode of Cloak of Darkness from the Clone Wars Season 1. You should check that out. And over here is a video that YouTube thinks that you'll enjoy, because it knows you. It's YouTube. It knows everything. Uh, yeah, that's all. See you in the next video. Peace.